Is it her? Any photo? Don't think this is anything. I... Mr. Lee was... Pretty girl like that? Maybe she was having trouble with some boys, huh? Maybe she got her heart broken. Couldn't take it anymore. So she ran herself a bath and down some hills, and then she just drifted off. I don't know. It's... Julie, she always... This is all top end of town so stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. So much drive. I'm sorry, I cannot be very clear. They're there. It's okay. It's place to start. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I... Who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pillbox, the things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always new clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star, a princess. Does modeling really pay that well? Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. I think our work is done here. Stefan.
Sean Rusty. We'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm with Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Can you drive to this one? Where are we going? Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I notice you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. Hello. What can I help you with today? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, a <laughs> wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiancé, Henry Arnett. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Mm. 
She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking a big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Stoneman, Office 505. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in... Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, detective. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but... No. Life was too short for her. 
And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Messages, please. Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. The old boy is lying. About what? I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. You know the way. We can drive. Do we know where we're going? Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Remember the dead lady they found under the train? He solved the case. Took some Call, bar for, Roy, for the murder. I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two-by-four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else.
Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Goddamn Harry thinks he can get fresh whenever he pleases. Oh. He was in the bathtub, and he'd taken one of his fingers. Can you bring me the file? Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. Were you a poet last Saturday? No, sorry. Can you take these places off? He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. <laughs> yes. We had relations. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something from this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. <laughs> Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. He was in the bathtub. He'd taken his fingers. Has anyone seen my pen? I ain't talking to you. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. 
That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. He's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. I expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Taking us, Henry. money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here.
too much slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. It's money and fast. Get in there and find out what he want. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Slack. Gotta get closer. I 
That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket for Mexico City, tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Oh, my God, it's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. You can drive. Where are we going? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Yes, Detective. Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood 9th Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks, ma'am.